Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R. In my previous video, we have seen how to get bar plot using base R plot functions. In this video, we will see how to get stacked and grouped bar plot along with all their annotations like error bars and uh, legend using base R functions. As you can see on the screen, these plots plotted using base R functions are comparable with the plots plotted using advanced library as ggplot2 and with similar length of codes. And if you want to learn how to plot bar plot using ggplot2, please watch my video. I have given link in the description. To get bar plots with error bars, we need to have data first. Then the data will be summarized to get mean and standard deviation values or standard error values. Uh, then we will plot the bar plot then make that bar plot as stacked or grouped by default it will be a stacked bar plot then we will add error bars then we will add labels and then legend we will start with data and we are going to use data set iris as an example here this data set contains four numerical variables and one categorical variable spaces and in this spaces variable there are uh, three levels setosa, versicolor and virginica will summarize using functions from package deployer. I will call library deployer for that deployer. If you have not installed package deployer, go to tools menu, click install and type in deployer there and click the install button. The library will get installed and then run this library, library deployer. We have the functions in memory now. First, we'll collect mean of those uh, four variables and for that we'll create a way object iris sum min and there will provide iris to a pipe that is pipe operator and this will be piped to group by function because we want to group uh, these uh, variables swept length through petal width using the categories in uh, variable spaces and therefore that species is there then this output will be piped further to function summarize and we need function summarize all here because we want to summarize four variables and there for summarize all will provide the function mean and mean will be calculated and we'll see here how those means are calculated now you can see here those means for each category setosa versicolor and virginica have been calculated but a uh, bar plot require matrix therefore we'll convert this data to matrix but remember here when we convert matrix if categorical variable is there all the numeric data will be forcibly converted to categorical variable that is called as coercion to avoid that we'll remove the categorical variable and here i will uh, that mean matrix i want there and for that as dot matrix function we will use and will provide the input iris sum and from that sum mean and from that will remove the first column comma all rows are required and after that this column the first column we want to remove therefore minus sign is there we'll remove that and we'll see the matrix the matrix is there we'll do the same for the standard deviation because standard deviation we require to calculate for error bars here i have changed the function to standard deviation and here also that mean i will change to standard deviation and here also that uh, this will be used as input to calculate uh, to convert it to matrix i will run that now we'll see the standard deviation matrix and this standard deviation matrix is there we have the data ready now for the bar plot and for that now we will go to plot the bar plot first bar plot function for height we will provide this mean matrix as the input and we will run that and you can see here don't bother much about these labels we will correct those later on these are column headings of the matrix we have got the stack bar plot because it's the default for bar plot function we will make it grouped bar plot using beside argument and we'll set that argument to true and we'll run that and now you can see there the nice group bar plot is there and these labels are not uh, getting accommodated in this horizontal space 
therefore will change orientation of this angle of this will make that angle perpendicular and for that we'll use argument LAS is equal to 2 so that only this uh, axis will get perpendicular labels and we'll run that those labels are perpendicular sometimes these labels may not accommodate into your plot margins therefore to modify the plot margins use this par function and mar argument set that mar argument four very uh, values are required therefore this c it will be a vector and these four values are first for this uh, x axis second for the left y axis uh, the third margin for the top one and fourth margin for the uh, right side and here the first the uh, bottom margin i will set to seven the uh, left margin where y axis labels and those will be there I will set to 3 and top margins I will set to 2 right margin I will set to 2 and we'll run that and your labels will get accommodated here nicely if required you can change these margin values to accommodate your labels now we'll color this and for that call argument we'll use and terrain colors function we'll use three categories are there therefore three terrain colors will may get here now we'll move to get text labels for these bars and for that we'll require midpoints of these bars and to get the midpoints we'll save this as object gbp a group bar plot we'll run that and in this gbp we'll have the matrix of midpoints of these values okay for sepal length these three values are there for sepal width these three values are there and likewise now the text layer we will add the x will be this gbp midpoints of those points y is equal to uh, this iris sum min mat values those will be uh, the labels and we'll add little to that this value 0 0.1 will add so that this will not overlap the labels overlap the bars and labels argument will use this these values again for the labels argument we'll run that now these values are quite large those are not getting accommodated here also first we'll reduce the size of these values and for that we'll use cx is equal to 0 0.6 and we'll run that uh, smaller values are there we ha have to replot again and run that the smaller values are there one value is not getting accommodated here uh, therefore we'll have to change the limit y lim in the bar plot function c 0 and we'll use 7.2 there and we'll run that those values uh, nicely accommodated there labels are there uh, we can round off these labels also using the round off function here I will use round and uh, the I will round to two digits and we'll run that replot again now uh, this is sufficient for labeling thing We'll just move these labels a little, one for you. Again, replot. Yeah. We will add error bars to this. Now, for error bars, we required function arrows. And this arrows function take argument x0, y0, and y1, and x1 also. For x0 argument, we'll give it x. 0 is equal to this GBP will be x0 x1 by default it will accept as x0 but we will deliberate explicitly give it this GBP uh, y0 will be uh, this mean minus standard deviation this standard deviation matrix is there will this y0 will be the lower uh, point of the error bar then upper point of the or upper end of the error bar will be y1 is equal to and the same one just operator I will change there this minus I will change to plus 
and we'll run that. These arrows are there. Now this arrow type is upper at, uh, arrow is towards the upper side. We'll change that using the code argument, code argument three. So that we'll get the arrows on both the ends. Okay. Both the end arrows are there. But for error bars, we don't want these arrows. We want a straight line. We'll make that straight line using argument angle and that angle is 90. We'll run that again. Okay, straight lines are there. Uh, don't bother about overplotting. We'll replot again. Uh, we'll replot here that text label and arrows. Now this arrow length, the uh, horizontal line is quite long. Therefore, we'll change that using the length argument. Length is equal to 0 0.2 we will use there. And we'll plot again. 0 0.2 is quite long. Therefore, 0 0.05 will keep it. And we'll uh, replot again. Uh, nice error bars are there. If you want to reduce, you can make that uh, 0 0.03 or 0 0.02 also. Uh, limit is again uh, going beyond. Therefore, here I will make that 7.5 in uh, bar plot. We'll replot again and those error bars are getting accommodated. Just to make it complete, we'll add main. Main is equal to bar plot with error bars. Okay. Run that run that, run that. We have the bar plot. Now, we require legend to uh, inform audience what these colors represent. And for that, we require the legend layer, legend. And in legend, we require the x position and we'll put legend at the top right. x is equal to top right. And then, uh, we'll have the fill is equal to terrain colors and three terrain, terrain colors we have used here in the bar therefore same colors we need to use here. Uh, for that legend is also required legend is equal to now that legend is the uh, species name from this variable we will use scalar species. We will run that and legend is there. This box is quite intimidating or overlapping here. Therefore, this box will remove by using the argument BTY is equal to none. Okay, many different box types are there. We will use no box here. I will run that, run that, run that, run that. A nice plot is there. And that's all for getting bar plot with error bars, those labels and legend. This is complete error, uh, bar plot. If you like this video, please click the like button. Share this video with your friends. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe uh, to my channel, please. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.